Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How Tos, and today I'm going to show you how you can put a screensaver of an image like this one here. Like the, oh, no, ah, not that one. This one! See? That's my phone. That's my 9630. So you can see PBX How Tos, youtube.com slash PBX How Tos. Now, what it's doing is I took a picture of this with my with my uh, my mobile phone um, so you could see it, but this just jumps around after a minute, all right? So, but to create it, there's a few things you have to take note of, and that is any of the 9600 series phones require CM3.0 and higher, all right? So as you can see, my system is a version 6, our 6.0.1. Uh, it works on R5, works on R4 and 3, all right? Anything past 3, R2 does not work. Trust me, I've tried it. The phone does not boot up and it does not pull this image. Um, and again, I've tried it in like 20 minutes. I'm sure I could make it work, but I'm just telling you from the standpoint of Avaya, uh, it's not supported anything above or older than 3.0. So in R2, it's not going to work, all right? So... With that out of the way, let's get to it. Some of the things that you have to take note of. Uh, the image size needs to be 320 by 160, and I believe that may have changed a little, but just for this exercise, let's go with this, okay? Because I know this works. All right, so 320 by 160. And uh, as long as your, your pixel dimensions are like that, you should be fine. Now I'm doing this in Photoshop, but you can do this in, uh, you can do this in any photo editor, really. You can do this in Paint if you wanted. Uh, Microsoft Paint. Paint, I tell you. See? Paint. This is Microsoft Paint. All right? Anyway, so if I go here and I say open, I could go get it if I wanted. All right? So, there you go. You can uh, create your image. It has to be a JPEG. Uh, you know, it has to be a very small size. I think it's under 160K or something like that. It, these, these images based on this size here are going to be small anyway. All right? So as long as you have that, you should be good to go. And what I do here is I go right here and I go www.youtube.com slash PBX how twos. All right. And I say apply and I grab this and I move it over a little bit just so it's centered. Maybe I want to put that there. And then I want to take, uh, let's see, I want to move that here. No, that's fine. All right. So once you have this, you, you, you're going to save this uh, image, as like I said, as a JPEG. And once you have it saved, again, you could see 34K. Very, very small, all right? So once I saved it, and take note of this name right here, PBX How To's JPEG, all right? So take note of that name, all right? Take note of the full name of the image that you save, all right? And once you save it, you're going to want to put it in your uh, your web directory for your 9600 phone. Now remember, <laughs> 9600s don't use TFTP, so I know this may seem a little misleading, but that's because I had a 4600 in here and I just call it a directory. So it's just a folder directory, all right? I'm not using TFTP, I'm using a web server. And take note of the, uh, in the description, I have a link to the, uh, how to use a web server for an IP telephone on setting those up, all right? And I'm using Abyss, but you can use uh, internet services admin, you can use any type of web server that you want, Apache, anything like that, all right? As long as your phone can get to the uh, 46xx settings file.txt, or in my case, the 9630 or 9620, it's looking for 96x1h upgrade.txt. And in that file says, go look for get the rest of your settings from 46xx settings but you need to have both of those in your default directory on your web server, okay? Again, for reference to that, go check out how to uh, install an IP telephone video that I did and showing you the exact settings on how to do this, all right? But once you have that, where you're going to want to put your file name for screensaver is in your 46xx settings file, all right? In here, you're going to see, uh, you're gonna go down here, Call server settings, all right? Scroll down. You could do a search for it, too, if you wanted. But scroll down till you find the screensaver, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this down a bit, and you can see screen. I'm going to click and click again and click one more time. Here we go. All right, screensaver settings, all right? 
a default 46xx settings file. <coughs> Excuse me. They're, they look like this. The default ones look like this. 240. Like this. File name. All right. This is what a default 46xx settings file is going to look like. All right. So what you need to do is the following. You need to move this back. You need to go like this. Actually, I'm going to do Control Z. Dent, 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 dent. All right. And you make sure this is on. So when the phone boots up, remember, the phone has to boot up and repull this file. Okay. Once it does that, it's going to go, okay. My screensaver will go on after one minute. Now, again, you, the range is zero to 999 minutes. All right? Keep note of that. If you don't want your image to show, put 999. Your image will never show. Well, it will after 999 minutes. <laughs> All right? So make sure you put a decent amount of time. I put a minute because it works out really well, and, you know, everybody's going to see your really cool logo that you're going to create, okay? And make sure you guys put some links in my description of some cool logos you made for your IP phones. All right? Anyway, uh, the next thing you want to do is make sure set screensaver and your file name. Remember that file name I told you to take note of? It goes right here. Okay? Now, you're going, well, wait a minute. How does it know where to find the file? What you have to do is you have to drop the file into the folder that has the same as your 46xx settings file. Okay? And there it is. There's the PBX How To's picture. See? Right there. Okay? Now, when the phone reboots, you have to reboot your phone, okay? That's what's key. You just It just doesn't say, okay, I'm there. The phone has to go and get its file settings to know what to do with these different settings that are in the phone itself. And so it tells the screen server to go on after a minute and to pull this file here. And if you've done it successfully, you end up with this. That is what the image looks like when your phone is in screen saver mode. This hops around every second or so. <coughs> Excuse me, just getting over a cold again. Yes, me, a cold. Go figure. Anyway, um, this pops around every second or so, but there you go. That's the file I created using any image editor, as long as it's a JPEG, as long as it's a, a small enough size, and as long as you have it uh, to the to the ratio that, that's, that Avaya gives. Now, make sure you guys go check out Avaya support site to make sure you have the proper firmware files or the proper uh, 46xx settings file and 96 settings file for your particular phone. All right. If you're not sure, just start clicking here in the search of iOS support, type your phone model type, and it'll bring it up. Okay. And you just get the latest one based on the version that you're running. All right. Hopefully, that answers you guys' questions on how to create a really cool picture or a background picture for your phone, a uh, screensaver picture, that is. For your phone, I'm going to do some more videos on specifically the 9630 because there's a lot of applications and stuff you can create. All right, so I'm going to figure a lot of that out and put a video out on it. But uh, again, guys, show me some love. Show me some links of uh, some of your logos that you created for your phones, and uh, I'll put some likes on there. All right, thanks, guys. I will talk to you all later. I'm out.